Welcome to MTV's News Update for today, May 25, 2022. I am Sandy Ramotar. For the World Top Headlines, Region 2 receives $29 million in subvention. U.S. $260 million contract signed for new Demarara Bridge. 200 S. Equipments receive small business grants. And in sport, GFF launches first ever on the 13 Boys League. Now for the news in details. Eight neighborhood Democratic councils and the Anna Regina Town Council in Region 2 have received $29 million in subvention from the government. Luan Williams reports. Minister of Local Government and Regional Development Nigel Darmalal on Wednesday dispersed $29 million in subventions to the Neighborhood Democratic Councils, NDCs, and the Anna Regina Town Council. The handing over was done at the Regional Democratic Council boardroom in Anna Regina. These monies are expected to finance the cost of community projects, along with the enhancement in diverse communities across Region 2. And so today, we are going to be handing over $29 million to you to start doing your community work. In the next few weeks, we will also be bringing an additional $29 million to cover the subvention programs for the eight NDCs and the, the one township. The local government minister urged regional authorities and NDCs councillors to work in citizens' best interest. He urged them not to be power drunk and take advantage of the people. When we make commitments as well, uh, when the president makes commitments, we also expect you to fulfill those commitments. When you make commitments at your council, please make sure you fulfill those commitments. Your decision making also has to be very uh, open and transparent. We're still getting reports that uh, some decision making uh, people are not comfortable with uh, because some of you may have had problems with someone and then because you're in positions of power, you decide that you're not going to deal with some people. The Ministry of Local Government and Regional Development will be auditing the various NDCs in the Tong Council in Region 2 to ensure that the money is served to residents. Luan Williams for MTV's News Update. The highly anticipated new Demara River Bridge will develop soon as the government has signed a U.S. $260 million contract with China Railway Construction Corporation. More from Luan Williams. The Ministry of Public Works on Wednesday inked a contract with China Railway Construction Corporation for the construction of the new Damarara Harbour Bridge from Nandi Park East Bank Damarara to Lagrange West Bank Damarara. The project totals US $260 million and will run for two years. The bridge is two. 0.65 kilometers in length and features a four lane for vehicular traffic. Bridge opening will be a thing of the past as there will be a 50 meter flyover at minimum to allow for marine vessels to pass without interrupting vehicular traffic. Senior Minister in the Office of the President with responsibility for finance, Dr. Ashni Singh, during his feature address said this is history in the making. And not history in the sense of a one-off, isolated project, but history in the sense of a major transformative product, project, project that is part of a much larger, comprehensive plan for transforming Guyana. To put it very simply, my Guyanese brothers and sisters, the making of the modern Guyana is well underway. And we, the making of modern Guyana is well underway. And we, today's generation of Guyanese, are incredibly privileged not only to witness the making of modern Guyana, but to be a part of it. According to him, this shows the government's commitment to making life easier for citizens. This government's commitment is to achieve a real, visible, tangible, meaningful, and lasting transformation of all aspects of life for the benefit of all of the people of Guyana. And this bridge constitutes 
an important part of that much broader agenda. The Finance Minister urged the Minister of Public Works to ensure the project is executed on time with the highest specifications. With the development of the new bridge, it will ease the traffic congestion experienced by the users of the old Demerara Harbour Bridge. The Juan Williams for MTV's News Update. You are watching MTV's News Update. More news on the other side of the break. Stay with us. The Guyana Elections Commission, GCOM, is currently conducting a cycle of continuous registration. Who can register? Anyone who will be 14 years or older by October 31, 2022, and is a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, naturalization, or is a citizen from a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for one year or more. Where to register? Visit the registration office responsible for your area of residence to apply for registration. See Sunday Press for the locations of the registration offices. Registration offices are open from Monday to Friday, 8 to 18 hours, Saturdays and Sundays from 10 to 14 hours. The offices will be closed on holidays. This registration exercise will end on Sunday, May 29, 2022. For further information, contact GCOM on hotline numbers 225-5868-225-5808 or visit the GCOM website at www.gcom.org.gy. Pison Windows and Doors is having a big New Year sale. Hurry now and save an aluminum sash windows with insect repellent. Going only for $14,900. VAT inclusive. Available in black or white frames. Tinted or reflective glass. Also at Beeson's, buy 10 windows and get one bar two window absolutely free. Offer available while stocks glass. So hurry to Beeson Windows and Doors. Lot 1228 Echoes Industrial Site and save. If your homes are flooded, the Ministry of Health advises that you turn off the main electrical switch and unplug all appliances and move them to safe areas of your homes. If you suspect electrical wiring has been damaged in your home, turn off the main and have it checked by a qualified person before turning on the power. Secure all important equipment, supplies, medicines, clothing and other items in safe spaces in your homes. Place important documents and valuables in plastic and store them in a safe place. For more information, call the Ministry of Health on telephone numbers 223-9705 or 225-1263. You can be a millionaire by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26 or you can buy a quick pick for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily Monday through Saturday to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So. Feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket today could make you rich today. When reliability is not an option, you need a supplier you can trust. This skilled technician depends on Forfin and Mendes for heavy duty tools. This landscaper earns a living using still equipment. High rates of production and recovery lead to this sawmiller trusting his operation to Wood Miser. Mothers trust the water filtration systems for the health of their families. Thanks to the automatic backup systems, you'll never be left in the dark again. Farfan and Mendes, offering you solutions you can depend on. Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line, starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens, available in tinted or clear, complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals.
Materials are used in a multitude of ways from repairing and fabrication of auto body, fishing and household items. We have available various fiberglass mattings, resin, mold releases, brushes and rollers for all of your repair needs. We offer technical advice and free training to ensure you get the job done. For further information, call us at 2206907 or 2209192. The Guyana Elections Commission GCOM is currently conducting a cycle of continuous registration. Anyone who will be 14 years or older by October 31, 2022 and is a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, naturalization or is a citizen from a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for one year or more. It is your civic duty and legal responsibility to apply for registration if you are eligible. When you do, you would be issued a national ID card and be listed to vote at future elections if you meet other eligibility criteria. Persons could be fined or sent to prison for refusing to apply for registration. Registration will end on May 29, 2022. For further information, please contact GCOM on hotline numbers 225-5868, 225-5808 or visit the GCOM website at www.gcom.org.gy. This is MTV's News Update. Welcome back. Some 200 entrepreneurs from Region 2 Pomeroon Supernam on Wednesday received their promised small business grants. The grants, which totaled $50 million, were promised by Vice President Dr. Bar Jagdiuk back in March. More from Rihanna Griffith. Vice President Dr. Barra Jagdeo on Wednesday facilitated the distribution of 200 small business grants to micro enterprises in Region 2. The payout to the tune of $250,000 was done at the Rice Producers Association RPA bond. This rounds up to about $15 million. Dr. Jagdeo, while addressing the recipients, urged them to use the money for the intended purpose. I'm looking forward to seeing you again in the future when I come back. And I hope that you put the money to good use, as I said before, to make sure that you can expand what you're doing. A number of recipients also expressed gratitude to Dr. Jagdeo for honoring his commitment. In fact, they noted that the grant would aid them in adding value to their small businesses. I would understand that uh, everyone will be benefited from. Yeah. And I think it's a great initiative. Along with the jobs that are around the Esikibo, it's really, really great. Thank you. And it will do a lot for the Esikibo. What I'm here now to thank the region, the uh, initiative for giving me the, the grant so that I can extend. And with this extension, I intend um, training about five young persons in the field of plumbing and sheet metal. Several other citizens whose name were unknown also expressed similar views. During a two-day cabinet outreach back in March, a commitment was made to provide the region with small business grants to help entrepreneurs and create employment in Region 2. Along with Region 2, Regions 5 and 6 are also set to benefit from these grants along with others. Rihanna Griffith for MTV's News Update. Vice President Dr. Bar Jagdi on Wednesday hinted at the possibility of taking the Black Belly Sheep Project to Region 2. People don't have much grazing lands here. A lot of it is like rice and um, that, is, that is going to be a constraint here. Unlike say Region 5 where we have large amounts of land that people already own but they're not on the cultivation here. They can, they can do livestock more in those areas. He proposed the possible opening up of lands. The Black Belly Sheep Project is aimed at increasing mutton production and is currently being rolled out in Region 5. Graduates of the Sarah Potter College of Education will now receive their permanent certificates immediately upon completion of their training. This move will take years of waiting off the list. The certificate distribution was halted previously. More in this report. Teachers for the last five years did not receive certificates from the Cyril Potter College of Education upon completion of their training. The reason for this is still unknown. 
However, that is about to change as the Education Ministry will now recommend the issuance of those certificates, says Education Minister Priya Manichan. Minister Manichan, while speaking to reporters at the sidelines of an event on Wednesday, positive that an announcement will be made shortly on how past teacher graduates can acquire their certificates. A permanent certificate is a document which highlights that an individual possesses the qualities and skills to deliver quality education to the sector and its beneficiaries, the students. The teacher certificate in Guyana is not only internationally recognized, it is coveted. Our teachers have always performed well locally as well as overseas. In the meanwhile, the Education Minister says that over 5,000 applications have been received this year for the Cyril Potter College of Education, which shows that there is keen interest in the education sector. She also stressed again the importance of having every teacher trained. We have had untrained teachers who have done well, very well, and are renowned in the country and elsewhere. It is more likely that a teacher will perform better in the classroom and have a greater quality output if that teacher is trained to teach. So not only that they know the content, but that they understand how to go and apply that content effectively so that children could learn and themselves apply it in their lives. Additionally, pre-service teachers who join the CPCE will also benefit from stipends. Rihanna Griffith for NTV's News Update. More news coming up after the break. The Guyana Elections Commission, GCOM, is currently conducting a cycle of continuous registration. Who can register? Anyone who will be 14 years or older by October 31, 2022 and is a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, naturalization or is a citizen from a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for one year or more. Eligible persons can apply for new registration if you were never registered, name change if you have changed your name since you were registered, correction if registration information is incorrect, and transfer if you have changed your address since you were registered. See Sunday Press for more details. This registration exercise will end on Sunday, May 29, 2022. For further information, contact GCOM on hotline numbers 225-5868-225-5808 or visit the GCOM website at www.gcom.org.gy. Region Pain from the U.S., a brand that's recognized worldwide. Special wholesale prices starting at $3,400 for the emulsion and $3,800 for the oil. Four gallons bucket for just $12,000. Also, the royal paints were crafted for people with a budget. Special introductory price on the semi-gloss top coat for just $1,500 per gallon and the roof and floor paint for just $5,500 for 1.5 gallons. Come and visit our showroom at Lot 140B Quamina Street or call telephone 6220601 or 504-3908 for more information. Grab onto these special prices with 30 shades and more to choose from while stocks last. Let's paint Guyana, everybody. With the approval of each new oil production project offshore, more jobs and opportunities are created onshore. And not just for those working in the oil and gas sector, more Guyanese are providing support services in transportation, catering, logistics, accommodation and hospitality, among many others. Oil and gas development is fueling Guyana's transformation. At Decoron Gift Gallery, we have comfortable and unique living room suites. Check out your bonded leather sofa or three-piece recliner set and much more. Or pick a lovely dining room set to match your home setting. Whatever is your style, we've got it. Shop your living room or dining room sets at Decor and Gift Gallery today. The Central Housing and Planning Authority is kindly asking residents living in communities under the management of the department to desist from storing construction materials on roadways and road shoulders. Residents are also being asked not to block roadways or drains with construction materials. According to clauses 12 and 13 of the amended agreement of sale of restrictive covenants attached to titles issued from 2012, 
No storage of materials comprising earth, sand, stone, blocks, cements, timber and steel or mixing of concrete shall be permitted on the road or the road shoulders. Any materials on the road or the road shoulders must be cleared within 24 hours of being placed thereon. Residents are reminded that failure to adhere to clauses 12 and 13 will result in a penalty of $10,000 being charged per day of default. A message from the Central Housing and Planning Authority. Citizens are being reminded to continue observing the COVID-19 guidelines by practicing social distancing, good hand hygiene, wearing a mask when out in public, and reporting promptly any illness to your nearest health facility. If you or your family member experiences any fever, coughing, vomiting, diarrhea, skin rash, cuts, sticks, bruises, or other conditions, seek medical attention immediately. The Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation and other outpatient departments in the respective areas are fully operational and equipped to provide adequate care. For more information, contact the Ministry of Health on 223-9705 or 223-9713. Are you building or renovating your home? Then come to Beeson for a wide range of aluminum and UPVC windows and doors. Get from single hung sash, on it, casement, sliding windows, plus sliding and swinging doors. All our products can be customized and fitted with insect screens and are sealed tight to withstand harsh weather conditions. At Beeson, we also carry commercial, glass and French doors, showcases, aluminum louvers, curtain walls, aluminum rails, plus sliding and frameless shower doors. So look no further. Visit our showroom today at lot 1228 Echoes Industrial Site or call 622-4197 or 623-4197. Peace on windows and doors. Filled with pride in Guyana by Guyanese. The Guyana Elections Commission, GCOM, is currently conducting a cycle of continuous registration. Who can register? Anyone who will be 14 years or older by October 31, 2022 and is a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, naturalization or is a citizen from a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for one year or more. Where to register? Visit the registration office responsible for your area of residence to apply for registration. See Sunday Press for the locations of the registration offices. Registration offices are open from Monday to Friday, 8 to 18 hours, Saturdays and Sundays from 10 to 14 hours. The offices will be closed on holidays. This registration exercise will end on Sunday, May 29, 2022. For further information, contact GCOM on hotline numbers 225-5868-225-5808 or visit the GCOM website at www.gcom.org.gy. The Guyana Telephone and Telegraph Company and the Guyana Postal and Telecommunication Workers Union have signed an agreement for a 6% increase in salaries and the training of employees from January 2023. Here is more. The Ghana Telephone and Telegraph Company and the Ghana Postal and Telecommunications Workers Union, GPTWU, on Wednesday signed a Memorandum of Understanding at the Ministry of Labor's boardroom. Chief Executive Officer of GTT, Damian Blackburn, said the company recognized that the pay increase in October was insufficient and as such will be given out a 2% increase effective from February 1, 2022. GTT has also agreed to pay a 6% increase from January 2023. Training will also be provided for technicians who deal with fiber optic cables. We the company are committing to a transformational training program for our technicians to make sure that they are fully trained in the, with the skills of the 21st century in line with our mission um, and that's we're going to be upskilling through the training program uh, around fiber skills. These technicians, after completing the six-month training, will benefit from promotion and other increases. All of the technicians who go through the training program this year, um, providing they pass the training and they, and they get to uh, you know, satisfactorily uh, pass the tests at the end of it, will get automatic promotions to recognize their new skill sets, effective from January 23, and that will lead again to extra remuneration for those people who, who progress successfully. President of the GPTWU, Harold Shepard, commended the Chief Executive Officer of GDT for pushing its employees' interests at the forefront. So it, shows to, it goes to show that GT&T 
fully understands the, in terms of the importance of ensuring that the field staff, the technical staff, the role, the important role they have to play within the company, I would call them, the, if you want to say, the foot soldiers of the company because they're the ones that interact with the customers on a daily basis. And obviously, they're the ones that sell gt and service as well because they're the field staff. Luan Williams for MTV's News Update. Opposition leader Aubrey Norton has made it clear that he will not disrupt his schedule to facilitate consultations with President Dr. Fanali. His comments came after he was asked about the next meeting with the head of state. Here is Rihanna Griffith. Opposition leader Aubrey Norton and President Irfan Ali met for the first time approximately two weeks ago and began talks on the appointment of several constitutional bodies, including the Integrity Commission, the Police Service Commission, the Judicial Service Commission and the Teaching Service Commission, all of which have expired. Prior to that engagement, Norton said that he requested information on the curriculum vitae of the persons under considerations and proposed to meet two weeks after. But it was President Irfan Ali who said that two weeks is too long. According to Norton, they then agreed to meet within one week. This has not happened. The president is very disrespectful. They do not honor agreements. This is an agreement that was made between the opposition and the president that we will meet in one week. Until now, I have not heard from the president. And I hope the president doesn't believe that when he says he wants to meet, I will disrupt my schedule of meeting the people of Ghana and doing my work just to meet with him. The opposition leader said such actions reflects a breach in the agreement made in the joint press statement. I don't expect them to come to talk about the urgency of consulting because we have put in place a framework for urgent consultation and it has been violated by no other than the president himself. The meeting between the president and the opposition leader came as a surprise to many, as the head of state had made it clear that the APNU-AFC coalition needs to recognize the PPPC government as legitimate. But President Ali later stressed that there is a need for constitutionally mandated consultations to be held. The coalition opposition to date have failed to recognize the government as legitimate. Rihanna Griffith. For MTV's News of Death. We now take a look at tips for healthy living with Norman Gobin, brought to you with the kind compliments of Dabby's variety. Boss, I get him Follow God, follow God. This is the long milk boy. Ah, oh, boss. Hi. Confucius say milk is the key to health and power. Boss, milk is milk, my. <laughs> Natura milk is the best milk on the market. Yeah, Natura, 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 yeah. Bring the slim and healthy, slim and, healthy. and the full cream. Holy cream, holy cream. Natura milk powder is a better milk. What good for? Tequila. If you've ever had a wild night filled with regrets, chances are tequila was involved. This centuries-old spirit is guaranteed to get any party started or ended. <laughs> but there are some myths surrounding the drink's possible health benefits. So join us as we uncover the possible health benefits and risks of tequila. But first, what is tequila? Tequila is a distilled liquor made by fermenting the juice of the Mexican agave plant. However, the tequila as we know it today wasn't always like this. The first versions of tequila date back to 1000 BC. It was known as pulque and was made from the fermented sap of the agave plant by the Aztec civilization in what is now northern Mexico. It wasn't until the Spanish invasion of the Americas in the 1500s that the distillation process of agave began. Then, in 1758, the Cuervo family began began distilling tequila, and in 1783, the Salsa family followed, which are both still popular brands of tequila on the market today. Possible Health Benefits Currently, no research on humans suggests that drinking tequila carries any sort of health benefits. 
However, some of the more popular ideas in circulation claim that tequila can aid with weight loss, help control blood sugar levels and prevent type 2 diabetes, help promote bone health and density, promote longevity and even stop or reverse aging, prevent and help treat colds, the flu and other types of infection, among others. However, it is understandable why these myths about the health benefits of drinking tequila exist. That's because the health benefits are actually associated with the raw agave from which tequila is made. Potential benefits of raw agave are aids with weight loss, reduce pain and inflammation, improved immune function, digestive health, improves bone health, reduced risk of type 2 diabetes, possible health risks. Tequila is alcohol and drinking excess alcohol is bad for you. It causes a wide range of adverse health complications some of which include digestive problems, depression and anxiety, memory and learning problems, reduced immune function, obesity, heart disease, cancer. Bottom line, raw unprocessed agave may contain some health benefits. However, processed products such as tequila do not contain these beneficial compounds. Tequila may be a comparatively healthier option than some other types of alcohol because it contains fewer calories, zero sugar, and zero carbohydrates. However, drinking any alcohol can increase the risk of developing a number of health conditions. Therefore, even if tequila contained healthy nutrients, the adverse health risks would most likely outweigh any possible health benefits. But, nothing's wrong with taking a little tips now and again. And for that, you can come to Heliconia Restaurant and Lounge. And thank you guys for helping me with this video. Tequila. Boss, I get you milk. Fall across, fall across. This is the long milk point. Oh, boss. I Confucius say milk is the key to health and power. Boss, milk is milk, man. <laughs> Natura milk is the best milk on the market. Yeah, Natura, 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 Natura. Yeah. Bring the slim and healthy, slim and healthy. And the full cream. Holy cream, holy cream. Natura milk powder is a better milk. Safrin, who is accused of the 2017 murders of Constance Fraser and her niece Phyllis Caesar, has pleaded not guilty to the heinous crime. Sufrin, 28 of Albaistang, Georgetown, was arraigned before Justice Joanne Barlow at the Demerara High Court, where a 12-member mixed jury was impaneled. The murder accused, represented by attorney-at-law Madan Kisun, has been on remand for the last five years awaiting trial. The charge stated that between October 2nd and 3rd, 2017, during the course of a robbery at South Road, Georgetown, he murdered the women. Media reports stated that the now deceased were found in the upper flat of their home, in their respective bedrooms lying unconscious on their beds. Caesar's hands and legs were bound and a piece of cloth was stuffed in her mouth. A post-mortem examination revealed that both women were strangled to death. The women were last seen by church members, and their bodies were subsequently discovered by a church member after they did not show up to church as was customary. Imran Khan and his accomplice, Stephen Andrews, have already been slapped with life sentences for the crime. In another matter, 26-year-old Donald Trapp, also called Short Man, who is accused of murdering remigrant agriculturalist Anthony Brady, will have to face another trial after a jury failed to arrive at a verdict on the evidence led against him. Following two hours of deliberation by a 12-member jury at the High Court, Trapp, who was on trial before Justice Joanne Barlow at the Demerara High Court, learned that the jury could not arrive at a verdict. The murder accused was informed that he will face another trial at the next practicable sitting of the Demerara Aziz's and will be further remanded. It is alleged that Trapp of Tamari, East Bank Demerara, between March 12 to 14, 2016, at Hillfoot, Suzdike Linden Highway, murdered 60-year-old Breedy. Breedy was discovered in the bottom flat of his lot 67 Hill.
Kilfoot Sue's Dyke-Linden Highway home at around 1100 hours on March 14, 2016. The pensioner's hand and feet were bound and his head was bashed in. A piece of wood suspected to be the murder weapon was found next to him. A post-mortem examination conducted on the man's remains revealed that he died due to asphyxia due to manual strangulation compounded by multiple blunt trauma to the head. For MTV's Court Roundup, Jessica Callender. and MTV's Sport Update with Jessica Canada comes up after the break. Stay tuned. The Guyana Elections Commission, GCOM, is currently conducting a cycle of continuous registration. Anyone who will be 14 years or older by October 31, 2022, and is a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, naturalization, or is a citizen from a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for one year or more. It is your civic duty and legal responsibility to apply for registration if you are eligible. When you do, you would be issued a national ID card and be listed to vote at future elections if you meet other eligibility criteria. Persons could be fined or sent to prison for refusing to apply for registration. Registration will end on May 29, 2022. For further information, please contact GCOM on hotline numbers 225-5868, 225-5808, or visit the GCOM website at www.gcom.org.gy. How fast is fiber? Think fast. GTT Fiber has three packages with download speeds of 50, 100, and 150 megabits per second. That's fast enough to stream movies and music, to chat with Gran and Fran, to study, and more. What would you do? Upgrade to GTT Fiber today and don't get left behind tomorrow. Are you running around looking for construction materials? Well, run down to Lens for affordable, high-quality building supplies. We have the widest range of grade A floor and wall tiles in any shape, size, and designs. And all types of ceramics, porcelain glazed and full-body porcelain. We stock the largest collection of large format tiles. Check out our porcelain slabs as big as 10 feet by 4.5 feet. Add a bit of elegance with our large range of decorative molding. Our line of PPG paints will give you vibrant colors that won't fade. With our wall and ceiling gypsum system, it's light, durable and fast. So come down to Lens at 136 Cherry Street, which is next to Buddy's and Pizza Hut for that 31 years of Lens quality. Welcome to Rossignol's Butchery. Here you'll find the freshest, most tender and flavorful meats, including steaks, burgers, sausages, minced meat, fish, and more, plus packaged meats and cheeses. All this in a highly hygienic atmosphere. In our store, there is a wide variety of canned goods, sauces, and marinades. Our friendly staff will cater to all your needs. Rossignol Butchery, we meet your needs. 7374 Church Street, Georgetown. Telephone 223-0004. Getting vaccinated is important in protecting yourself and those around you. The COVID-19 vaccine is not a cure. The Ministry of Health's vaccination drive is to remove the virus's ability to cause hospitalization. It helps to look at your exposure to COVID-19 like this. Best case scenario, you don't get infected. And the worst case scenario is death. In between this, there's hospitalization, developing moderate symptoms, and in some cases, no symptoms at all. What the vaccine does is it gives your body enough protection. So if you do get infected, it feels more like this and there'll be no need for this. Get vaccinated today. 
a message from the Ministry of Health in collaboration with UNICEF and PAHO WHO. Planning a cleanup? We can help. Sivan's waste management skip bins can be provided for home renovation projects, yard cleanups, or construction sites. It's simple. Step one, just pick up the phone and give us a call. Step two, we deliver the skip bin size of your choice. Step three, load the skip with all of your junk. And finally, step four, we take it all away. It's that simple. Bins are also available in various sizes, so there's no job that's too big or too small. Call Sivan's Waste Management today at 218-1455 or 218-1156. In the first two years, your baby will experience amazing growth in so many ways. To fuel it, they need the right nutrition. With Nestum, two servings of goodness a day provide the wholesomeness of carefully selected baby grape grains, the additional iron that their brain needs to develop and the yummy taste baby loves. Assuring you the right nutrition in two servings. Nesta, it's all good, Mom. Learn more online with Nestle Baby and Me. <laughs> The Guyana Elections Commission, GCOM, is currently conducting a cycle of continuous registration. Who can register? Anyone who will be 14 years or older by October 31, 2022, and is a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, naturalization, or is a citizen from a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for one year or more. Eligible persons can apply for new registration if you were never registered, name change if you have changed your name since you were registered, correction if registration information is incorrect, and transfer if you have changed your address since you were registered. See Sunday Press for more details. This registration exercise will end on Sunday, May 29, 2022. For further information, contact GCOM on hotline numbers 225-5868, 225-5808, or visit the GCOM website at www.gcom.org.gy. Over the years, ISG has been providing all sectors across Guyana with quality products and outstanding customer service. Proud distributor of NP and Ultra lubricants, engineered for tropical conditions. International trucks and parts, leading the change. SEM Machinery, a Caterpillar brand. SKF bearings and mounted products. Napa batteries. Tide power generators. Discover the greatest source of power. Industrial Supply of Guyana Inc. The best opportunity to make the right choice. The Guyana Football Federation, with support from Tiger Rentals on Wednesday, launched a national under 13 boys league, the first of its kind in the sport of football. The National Under-13 Boys League is the first of its kind for the Guyana Football Federation in over 120 years since its establishment. The league was launched with the support of Tiger Rentals, who presented the GFF with $10.6 million, which will go towards the development of the new league. GFF President Wayne Ford said this support will help to develop an array of life skills in young people. To simply name a few, they will learn to be a team player, respect authority in the case of coaches, referees, and officials, learn to play by rules, learn to win with passion, and lose with dignity, build self-confidence as they discover the outer limits of their God-given talent. Ford noted that the establishment of this league is in keeping with the Federation's mandate to make football more accessible to everyone. Each coach that will be part of this initiative is required to complete courses in FIFA Child Safeguarding, FIFA Football for Schools Master Training, and enroll in the CONCACAF Coach Licensing Pathway. GFF Assistant Technical Director Brian Joseph said that the league is vital for the development of younger players getting into the sport. Currently, for the past four or five years, a U13 player probably would play two or three games per year. This partnership this tournament with Tiger Tanks is going to allow the average player, the average U13 player, to play between 8 to 12 games per year. And in addition to that, the more developed under 13 players 
will probably play upward of 15 to 20 games per year. Additionally, this will allow the licensed coaches more opportunities to put their skills into practice. To participate in the tournament, boys under the age of 13 must form a team of at least 14 players and must be supervised by a certified coach. This is expected to result in the formation of more under 13 football clubs, with players coming from various communities and schools across the country. The GFF also hinted at the development of an under 11 boys and girls league soon. Royal Challengers Bangalore has now advanced the qualifier two in the Indian Premier League after eliminating newcomers the Lucknow Super Giants. Heading into the playoffs, Lucknow Super Giants were only pitted against teams they had not been able to defeat in the league stage. Royal Challengers Bangalore ensured it would remain this way, knocking out the new team in their first ever IPL eliminator. This is according to ESPN Crick Info. Rajat Patidar, a Royal Challengers regular who was let go this year, came in mid-season to cover for an injury and managed to score a sensational unbeaten 112 off 54 to propel the team into the second qualifier. The score was supported by a teammate who scored 40 off 14 balls before being dropped in the 16th over. Lucknow Supergiants suffered due to a few dropped catches and an 84 in the last five overs which they were unable to surpass. Supergiants captain K.L. Rahul displayed some impressive innings, reaching 99 off 7 overs, and his jump from 48 off 42 to 79 off 58 proved to be not enough. For two more overs, Super Giants managed to stay abreast within the asking rate, bringing it down to 41 off the last three. They were ahead of where Royal Challengers were at that stage. However, Royal Challengers managed to coast to victory, winning the match by 14 runs. The UK government has approved the sale of Chelsea to US investor Todd Bowley for £4.25 billion, ending Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich's near 20-year-old ownership of the football club. Chelsea had been operating under a government license since Chelsea's owner, Roman Abramovich's assets were frozen in March and it was set to expire on May 31st. This is according to Reuters. British Sport Minister Nadine Dorries announced on Wednesday that a license has been issued which permits the sale of Chelsea to a consortium led by Los Angeles Dodgers part owner Todd Bowley and backed by Clear Lake Capital. Bowley had mentioned earlier this year to Bloomberg that he had big plans for Chelsea. So if you look at what the Premier League offers, it's all of those things. It's the highest quality play. It's the best players. You also have you know, a media market that's just really developing. So, you know, it, one of the great things that Premier League has is that it's on Saturday morning in America. So you have an uncongested time slot that is now kind of fully dominated by Premier League. Current owner Roman Abramovich is subject to sanctions by the British government. He put the London club up for sale in early March following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which Moscow called a special military operation. Dory said on Twitter that the proceeds of the sale will not benefit Roman Abramovich or other sanctioned individuals. The club had earlier confirmed that all proceeds from the sale will be donated to charitable causes by Abramovich. The consortium agreed terms to acquire Chelsea for £4.25 billion earlier this month and passed the Premier League's owners and directors test on Tuesday. The completion of the sale will allow Chelsea to renew transfer activity, as well as permit players to sign new contracts, which was prohibited as part of the sanctions imposed. Groups led by Boston Celtics co-owner Stephen Pagluca and former British Airways chairman Martin Broughton were eliminated from the bidding process, and a consortium led by Chicago Cubs owners the Ricketts family pulled out of the running. That brings us to the end of Sport Update, which was brought to you with the kind compliments of ISG. More after the break. Get the right seal right now from Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc., your immediate SKF sealing solutions. The SKF seal jet machine is capable of building seals from 5 millimeter to 600 millimeter in diameter in under five minutes. With technical support readily available, you can get a customized seal to suit virtually any industrial application, like buffer, rod, wiper, and piston seals. SKF seal jet machine, now at Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc.
And that brings down the curtain on tonight's newscast. But before we go, here's the reminder of our top stories. Region 2 receives $29 million in subvention. U.S. $260 million contract signed for new Demerara Bridge. 200 SU Cubans receive small business grants. And in sport, GFF launches first ever on the 13 Boys League. Catch our broadcast tomorrow at 6 hours 30. Don't forget to like our Facebook page where the news can be viewed live at 19 hours 30. You can also check out our website at mtvgy.com for these and other stories. On behalf of our news and technical teams, Sandy Ramutar Singh. Stay safe and goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.